this is what I call a new version of reflective practice. What John Dewey, I believe what John Dewey would be talking about if he was still alive. Because he was the one who started championing him. Like, you have to think about what you do in order to change and improve. You have to think about it. In college, they did write reflection papers on the Bible. What a better way to reflect. We have HD cameras in our pockets. Film yourself doing something. That's real reflection. You can't lie to yourself when you watch yourself. You can't be like, no, was, you know, that's good. I film and I record all my presentations all the time, and they have two parts. I will go and watch this two-hour, two 15-minute video back because I want to know how I did. I don't want to walk out of that door and be like, I'm so, I'm so awesome. I'm so all the time. I want to know for sure there are things that I can improve. Doing this is the only way of reaching my potential. Sports teams, all of them do it. Dancers, musicians, everybody's been doing this forever to reach their potential. It's time for teachers to take that on and reach your potential in the information we're supposed to be delivering. Even things like how I'm using eye contact, how I'm using gesturing, how I'm using facial cues, all these things that are critical for students, especially students like um, special ed and ESL students. 